Welcome to the IRF and LTEC virtual training program, part one. I'm Lisa Newton, and I'll be discussing the case study. I'm a registered nurse with experience in direct patient care, clinical education, and executive level administration in the acute care and LTEC settings. Currently, I'm a senior staff associate at Econometrica in Bethesda, Maryland. The purpose of this presentation is to review the design framework of the case study and provide instructions for completing the activity and preparing for the coding workshop. Let's begin with an understanding of the primary objective for the case study. At the conclusion of this activity, you should be able to apply the knowledge that you acquired during your review of the presentations in part one of the IRF and LTEC virtual training program to accurately code an integrated clinical case study using select data elements. The case study activity consists of two components. Part one is an independent self-study. To begin, you'll need to download two documents from the training platform. The case study narrative, which is a document providing the clinical data for coding the patient scenario. And the case study coding response sheet, which is a blank template to record your coding responses. Part two of the case study activity will occur during the live virtual coding workshop to be held in June of 2022. During the coding workshop, the case study will be discussed and the correct coding responses and rationale will be provided. Let's briefly review the clinical scenario that you'll be coding. The patient, Mr. P, is a 68-year-old African-American Filipino male admitted to an acute care hospital on April 10th, 2022 after a fall. His acute care admission diagnoses included fall without injury, embolic cerebral infarction, dysphagia, and right-sided weakness. Mr. P was transferred to a post-acute care facility on April 15th, 2022 for anticoagulation, nutritional and chronic pain management, and ongoing physical and occupational therapy. The instructions for the case study are as follows. First, as I mentioned, you'll download or you can also print the documents that you'll need to complete this activity. They are the case study narrative and the case study coding response sheet. Read the case study narrative and code the subset of admission and discharge items identified for Mr. P and provide your answers on the case study coding response sheet. Then bring your completed case study materials to the live virtual coding workshop in June. This is the subset of admission assessment items you'll be coding for Mr. P. The items include social determinants of health, hearing and vision, the pain interview, nutritional approaches, high risk drug classes, and special treatments, procedures, and programs. This is the subset of discharge assessment items you'll be coding. As you can see, a number of these items were also coded on admission. And in addition, the discharge assessment also includes the transfer of health items, A2121 through A2124. As you're reviewing and coding the case study, there are several other resources you can use for assistance in addition to the case study narrative. For example, you can refer to other presentations in the IRF and LTEC virtual training program part one for information to support coding. And for additional guidance, please refer to your settings QRP manual for coding instructions and tips. Finally, bring your case study narrative and the completed coding response sheet to the live virtual coding workshop in June. We'll debrief and provide a review of the correct coding and rationale for the subset of admission and discharge items that were coded. This activity was designed to help you integrate the coding concepts provided in the IRF and LTEC training program. If you have any questions about the case study as you're getting started or completing the activity, please submit them to PAC training at econometricainc.com by June 3rd, 2022. Thank you for reviewing this presentation 
and we look forward to your attendance at the coding workshop.